Cloud parsing has a fairly simple concept. It entails the ability to add or subtract compute capacity between on-premise and public and private clouds, or to support a multi-cloud environment, all used to handle traffic peaks. Many companies use cloud bursting to construct a hybrid cloud model. The idea seems straightforward, as holding spare infrastructure equipment on-premise to support high traffic loads during ad hoc times seems very expensive, especially when you have the option to use the on-demand elasticity of the cloud. An example of cloud bursting could be an application supporting some kind of online activity, such as an online shop, and at certain times during the day, uh, you expect to receive additional traffic that your existing on-premise infrastructure simply cannot handle. In this case, you architect the front end of the application in the cloud with the ability to scale on demand. The front end of the application can take advantage of numerous caching cloud services and scale using a CDN style approach while keeping all the backend processing on-premise local to the IT infrastructure. The theory sounds useful, but in reality it introduces much complexity that could lead to poor application performance. The complexity of the application design and the ability to acquire new skills required to design the application to leverage cloud bursting is high. Complexity is rise with orchestration between on and off premise applications and multi-cloud scenarios. IP routing, access to data, bandwidth and of course latency need to be taken into consideration and a reliable system to tell you when you've reached traffic limits needs to be used too. You also need to be able to measure application response times in real time and then scale to the cloud when needed. You also need mechanisms to tell you when to scale back down to on-premise locations. There are many moving parts here and they all add to complexity and costs in some form or another. Public clouds are also expensive and if you scale a large amount of compute you don't want to stay up there for very long. The application is going to need to speak to some data, and where will this data be located? Does it move to the cloud upon a bursting scenario, or does it stay on-premise locally to the IT infrastructure? Moving data to the cloud opens up an entirely different wave of questions, while keeping data on-premise and having the cloud application communicate back to on-premise location is held hostage against latency. What you need is a well-designed application that can scale out in seconds as opposed to bursting into the cloud. Focusing on scaling out application architecture is far more useful than trying to burst and add capacity to compute nodes in the cloud. This smart model, while still complex, may only be suited to certain types of applications, such as cloud native or containers. The container world is pushing for multi-cloud scenarios, but containers, like everything else, are still sensitive to latency.